Okay, we're back at the scroll saw today, and I want to talk about how fast a scroll saw can cut. And that's a sort of a variable topic, so let's talk through some of the issues involved. As always, if you like what you see, please hit the like button, and uh, uh, also you might want to subscribe and get uh, notified of our future stuff. Uh, this particular saw and most of the scroll saws have a speed adjustment. The way a scroll saw works is this particular blade uh, goes up and down and it, th there are two arms to the saw, long arms, and it's simply a motion of going up and down. So if I turn this saw on, you can see that this arm is just going up and down and I have it set at a very slow speed and by slow speed I mean the number of times it goes up and down per minute is small. I can also, uh, this is a variable variable speed saw, and with this dial, I can go from 500 per minute, that's 500 up and downs per minute, up to 1,700 up and downs per minute. And so uh, it's interesting that you have this variability. The question is, why do you have that variability and why do you want it? Uh, for one thing, you don't want the blade to get too hot. So if you're going through thick material and you're going up and down at a high rate of speed, the blade's going to get very hot. It, in fact, could cause the metal to separate in the blade, or it can more likely burn the edges of the cut. So the thicker the wood, the slower the speed you would want to use. Uh, you can also move the material through the blade faster if you have the, the reciprocating speed set faster. Because it's going up and down, it clears the sawdust out more quickly, and so you don't uh, get clogged up and bind as you move more rapidly through the cut. So you want to set this speed depending on, therefore, the thickness of the material that you're cutting, and how fast you actually want to get, get through the material. Also, if you're doing very intricate cuts, you probably don't want to try to go fast because it's much easier to control the blade to a line, to a mark, uh, if you're going at a slower speed. So you can see there are many variables involved in uh, how fast does a scroll saw cut, and you have a lot to do with how you do that. How do you set this speed, and how hard do you push the material into the saw blade? So we hope you uh, will hit the like button if you liked what you saw, and we really think it's a good idea if you want to subscribe.